Hello there, this is Doyle Allen, and I'm from uh, HootieTouch.com. Got a lot of tutorials there, and we teach classes. You can find out about our classes there at KNT PSP Courses. And I'm also on uh, YouTube. Well, you're probably viewing me on YouTube right now as I speak. So you can just uh, type in your search, Hootie Tuts is one word. Or I think it'll take it as two words, and that will bring you to a lot of my classes. Subscribe to me so you can keep up with the stuff I put on there. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Filters Unlimited. It's a very handy thing to have. And see, I think it costs about 40 bucks. If it's one of the single things that you have to purchase to go along with Paint Shop Pro, I would I would highly recommend that. Go in here to ICNet software. Um, when you install this, I'd install it same place that you do your normal plugins. It's funny like that. And uh, let's see, go and work with Filters Unlimited number two. Can't show you that. Here's the filters that normally come with it. And that's a good selection. You can do an awful lot with these. That's why one of the reasons why I recommend it so highly. But you can add other uh, filters that, that's been made uh, from Filter Factory. Filter Factory has a lot of plugins out there by different names. And this will help you to make them work in Paint Shop Pro or PSP. Let me show you a database button here. Left click on that, and here's uh, some databases that I have built already. We're going to add a new one here. I wanted to show you this. We got new and uh, open. I can use open and choose whatever database I want. And see, it jumps to that. Or I could just click on one of these and it opens it up without saying open. Why the open? I'm not sure. But let's see, we'll go to new. We're going to start a new category here so you can see how to import uh, 8BF filters in here. I'll call this uh, miscellaneous 3. And that's just uh, giving it a name. So here's the database with nothing in it. And we're going to click import. And we use import in order to bring filters into it. So I select my 8BF files and this time it's going to be Kang filters for this demonstration and click open and ta-da! There they are. Now I can use them in my filters unlimited. And as you can see here it gives me all the stuff that uh, I just imported and made its own filters, uh, its own uh, folder names for us to try different things let's give myself a little sparkle around my mouth and let's see another interesting thing is uh, the randomize button uh, this is very handy and shows up on a lot of these filters of course if you want to go back to the original you can hit reset and do it let's say that I'm using randomize or I'm using sliders these things have sliders and you can change things and I find one that ooh I want to keep that I'll revisit that one we'll, we'll just say that this is uh, something that strikes my fancy well we can click presets here and we can click add and give it a name we'll say pretty one just for the heck of it and now I can always come back to this whenever I'm over here and click on that I can use this as my preset to get back to this setting here and if I want to make that my default I could select this and then use it as a set default then when I uh, click on it over here why well, then it would automatically start off with this as a default effect which I do not want to do. Back to the presets. I can click on that and either edit it. 
So I could change change this uh, preset and then save it again, or I can delete it. Okay, I'm done with it. Don't want it there no more. So that's pretty cool with that too, right? It's it's really a marvelous thing. Let's say that okay, I don't want to use this anymore. I don't even. I do not. Uh, I want to delete it. I don't want to use it anymore. You can't do that while you're uh, while you have it selected. I think I will show it here. If I try to delete it while it's selected, miscellaneous three, it'll say uh uh. Oh, we don't like that. Can't delete the currently active database. But I can go back in and choose another one, and then delete and choose the one which was uh, miscellaneous three, right? And say that I want to get rid of that. So, are you sure you want to delete the entire database? That sounds like it's going to wipe everything out. But no, each one's an individual database. So, um, we're wanting that um, miscellaneous three deleted. So, we'll go right there. And now, when you look at miscellaneous three, you see it's grayed out. We can pull it back in now. We can choose open and uh, and choose that and uh, bring it right back to life if we want to. So it doesn't completely delete all the information, but it's just not there as an active uh, selection anymore. I hope this helped you out uh, with uh, Filters Unlimited and any confusion that you might have. It's uh, very cool. And uh, come and see us at Hootie Tuts or go to uh, Hootie Tuts and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And look around. I got some stuff there. And this is Hootie saying see ya.